Hello. Hey Joe, it's Karen from the news station. How are you? So I just want to follow up on the news story that we did a couple months ago on you. We just were so inspired by your brave and courageous story to, uh, you know, cut your leg off to have a chance at a better life. And mm -hmm. just wanted to follow up on that story, get some comments. We were, you know, so inspired by it. I know, it was a great story, huh? You know, it really was. And we would love to do a follow up piece on what you're doing now that your life is so much better. You know, have you um, run any 5Ks or done, you know, gymnastics backflips on your cool new carbon fiber rocket boat or whatever you guys call them? No, not really. Not really. I thought, I thought one of your goals was to was to run and um, be active. Get my leg cut off again. I just decided I was just going to become one with the couch instead. Thanks for the call, though. It's really great to hear from you. Bye-bye. What an unpleasant individual. Yeah, so uh, I'm getting my leg cut off again. Good morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. So here's the situation. This isn't 100% yet, but it's pretty darn close to it. We're getting close to it anyways. I am getting my leg amputated a second time. The same leg. Who does that happen to? Pity party for one, please. Thanks. I haven't given you guys an update on my leg stuff in a little while. It's because we've been really trying to figure stuff out. It's been confusing. It's been all over the place. I have not wanted to talk about it until I really knew something. And long story short, um, the pain has gotten worse pretty much every day, just like little bit by bit. There's definitely a lot that's wrong. And uh, I went up to see a new surgeon a couple weeks ago, which you guys knew about. And he said that, you know, you would definitely probably need surgery to like try CBD oil for a little while, but we both knew that that wasn't probably gonna do anything, you know, fingers crossed, but it didn't do anything. And so the next step was to have surgery, but to meet with a plastic surgeon first. But here's the cool part. I met with that plastic surgeon and I thought I was gonna be talking to him about like the skin issues that I was having because he's a plastic surgeon, right? Wrong. This is like the guy in the state, maybe the country, I'm not sure, for targeted muscle re -innervation. This has shown to be massively helpful and massively successful with nerve pain and phantom pain and just issues that amputees have. And I had no idea, I literally had no idea that I was walking into that appointment. Uh, it was really cool to be able to talk to him, but there is a chunk of recovery time for that. And with how things are laid out in my leg and the issues that are happening, it's going to be a lot simpler to just redo the whole thing, to literally cut my leg off again. But do you remember a while ago when we were talking about how my leg was like longer than is normally left after amputation surgery? How bizarre is it that that actually ended up working in my favor? Uh, I think we could kind of call that a blessing now in like disguise, in, in retrospect, I don't know. We are waiting on one final CT scan to make sure that what he thinks is going on is exactly what's going on. I appreciate when surgeons are really, really thorough. And uh, once we get the results of that test, we will make the final, final decision and schedule surgery. Surgery. I'm guessing it's not gonna be until like mid late August or September because surgeons have to like be scheduled on the same day because it's gonna be a complicated thing. How am I feeling about this? I think I prefer not to feel anything about this. I would really like it to fix the problem. I really like to be able to walk again and if going through this a second time would allow that to be the case, okay. But the thought of going through all of this again is understandably really kind of terrifying. Yeah, I don't think I actually felt that until I said it in words on camera right now. Yeah, it's really freaky. Going through it the first time was really not a lot of fun. If you look at the videos like way back at the beginning of my channel, I usually had a couple minutes a day where I was doing okay, but those first two months were really, really, really rough. Very painful, very difficult. Upside is I'll know what to expect this time around. Uh, regardless of which way they do, I mean, there is the chance that they still might do the other surgery, but the recovery time is gonna look pretty similar to as if they just redid the whole amputation because of the stuff that they were gonna have to do because of the targeted muscle re I think I'm saying that word right. Regardless, I'm going to be casted for at least four weeks after surgery and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be down and out for a while. And I am just hoping against all hope or with all hope rather that this gets me to a place where I can walk. I am beyond ready for that. I've talked about this before, but getting this kind of news and like going through this stuff 
all that comes up in my head over and over and over and over again is like, other people have it worse. It could be worse. You shouldn't be upset about this, but my leg is literally getting cut off again. I went through one amputation thinking it would fix things. Like I let myself hope that that might bring closure. Not closure, but like the beginning of something. It was gonna be really freaking hard, but I was told that six to eight weeks after my amputation, I'd be fitted for a prosthetic and learning to walk. And I mean, that, that all happened, but then it completely came to a halting stop. And I have friends who are literally running 5Ks on running blades who had their legs amputated after me. And I cannot barely like wear the eye walk anymore because now my knee's messed up from walking on it so much and the end of my leg is really painful to touch, even to like rub cream on to help and I'm frustrated. One of the more challenging parts is I just got a new job and the job that I was working previously, I just can't work. I just cannot do it in the condition that I'm in. I can't do it not being able to walk consistently. I can't do it in the kind of pain that I was in so I got a new job and I'm gonna have to take significant time off of that. Initially we planned for like three months of me being able to mostly take time off, like mostly take work off, which was a huge gift, but things have not gone in that direction and continue not to. Um, so all around things are shaky and scary and concerning and frightening, and I hope that things will move forward to a better place. At the same time, I'm a prisoner of hope and I fully trust that something will give, that something will work out and I will work my ass off to make that happen, whatever that is. And. I am unbelievably thankful to have you guys along with me. I will keep you apprised on what is upcoming. I don't know what's gonna happen as far as when it's gonna happen, but I think it's gonna be a pretty intense recovery, uh, pretty rough. If it fixes things, it's totally worth it. I'll go through whatever I need to go through if it means that I can be in less pain and actually take some steps if I can actually walk. Yeah, my leg is getting cut off a second time. I'm having a leg amputated again. That's weird, that's bizarre. And I really hope it fixes the issue. I just wanna like take a nap for like the next eight weeks. Thanks for listening guys. What a crazy journey this is. I can't wait to look back on this video a year from now and see where things have gone. If you do want to support me or this channel, no pressure to do so. Uh, a Patreon link is down below. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I really appreciate everybody who is a member of my Patreon team. You guys are amazing and so patient with me and really caring and I really appreciate your support there. I love you all. I am thinking of you daily and I will talk to you in the next video and I look forward to bringing you with me on this journey. Thanks guys. Bye. Have her from the sky.